Hey YouTube, Gamer2K1 here. And today we are reviewing Bro Rash for the Sega Genesis. Excuse me for a minute while I get rid of this glare. There we go. Much better. Alright. So in this game. I guess the basic story is you play as a rookie on the Rapture circuit. Alright, so... Let me just decide which course I want. I'll go with Redwood Forest. Now, as you go through the game, each race starts with the, with the other racers talking to you. You start with a pretty poor bike, but it gets the job done. The racing's pretty good, in my opinion. But the real draw to this game is the fighting. Although, although seasoned players will advise you, it's not always a good idea to try to get in a fight. You can't. Just hit the C button and punch away. Or you can steal any weapons someone might have by hitting the C button as they're about to attack you with those weapons. There's chains and clubs in this game. There's a little more variety in the later games. If you ask me though, the Genesis Road Rash is the best game out there of the series. And just listen to that music, man. to mention there's cops. For those who don't know Road Rash. If you're patient, you can go and fight the cops. Oh, you just tried to hit me with a club. I barely missed that car. trace the same tracks over and over again for I do believe five levels but each time the tracks get longer and longer you start out with around five miles and that seemed like quite an overpowered punch I took that guy down Place. I rather expected that. At the end of each race, shows you your current cash and your password. You hit C and you can go and buy new bikes. Basically, it's the trade in plus your cash. The Diablo 1000, the most powerful bike in the game. If you can get that bike, you're pretty much unbeatable. Unless you mess up a lot. And then it shows high scores. Really, it's, I think that's overall cash gained or something like that. It's really nothing important. 
Alright, so to advance to each level, you go and you place a Jubilee first through fourth in each race. Tracks get longer, the bikes get faster, and you get all sorts of different people on the track. If you run by a chick named Natasha, don't try to fire her. She's a friend. Biff, on the other hand, if you feel it necessary, knock him out. Because he will pretty much go next to do the same to you. You saw his face at the beginning of the first race. He looks like the type you want to punch, huh? <laughs> ah, O'Rourke again. If you try to stay by them, they will try to take you down. If you want to fight them, your best bet is to wail on them or kick. If you, if you can kick at the right time, you have a high chance of knocking your opponent off their bike. Once again, make note of the soundtrack in this game. The music is perfect for each track. It, it leaves you wanting more. But if you don't want the music, you just want the sound of the bikes, you got that too. Just turn the music off. Again, that could prove to be disastrous if I was if I had messed up. Well, let's see that race. worth a play. It's for the Sega Genesis, and they also made a scaled down version on the Game Gear. They've got other games by the same name, but they aren't quite the same. They're missing something. If you want to play Road Rash, and you want to play it for your first time, this game is definitely the one to look at. The Sega Genesis Road Rash. Anyways, I'm out of here.